Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a mod I'm really excited about. I'm going to be replacing the grill and the headlights on my Land Cruiser. you notice these are aftermarket uh, headlights. I've had some mixed feelings about how these performed. One of the biggest things that I wanted to take care of was I wanted to move to a 7 inch Jeep type of headlight. That way I could have all the options that are available to Jeeps because they're mass produced. Whereas the Land Cruisers, you kind of locked into one to like three headlight options versus hundreds. Um, not to mention the replacement on the OEMs are really expensive. So I wanted something that was a little bit more durable, a little bit more flexible, and ultimately a lot cheaper in the long run. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so what we have here is the grill and then we've got the headlights so really excited about these again what I was talking about earlier is these will fit in the Land Cruiser and they'll accept a standard 7 inch light from what you normally find in a Jeep so when these arrived to me they just they're in a raw format so they're just raw steel you have to go to a local shop and get these powder coated uh, I think I got these powder coated for like 60 bucks or something like that. It wasn't too bad. Uh, the lesson learned on this though is I waited like nine months before I got them powder coated. And in that time period, because they weren't sealed, they started rusting. So you want to paint these as soon as you get them if you go down this road. Easy enough to take out. All right, so since these are the aftermarket ones, I need to go ahead and pull out the actual turning signals, light bulbs here. So I've got those. Got the OEM replacement, so just want to match these up and then turn and lock in place and put that connector back in and good to go all right so these are the adapters for the seven incher uh, this is kind of hokey right now I might have to get this rewired eventually but um, for right now, I'm just gonna get it installed. So, hook those guys up. This guy here. Should move this out of the way just for a second here. All right, so you got bolt and washer. Goes there. loosen these up just a little bit till I get everything in place. Bring that guy up. All right, so there's this piece right here, and 
it's hard to see let me show you there we go but it's gonna go right in this hole right here and then plug into this hole right here so it keeps that in place all right so for the grill one of the things you'll do is you got this piece here several bolts I need to put that on there and this hole here is going to actually use this bolt as its anchor mount. So I had to remove this bolt here because we're going to use that bolt, that hole right there to keep this bot the bottom of the grill in place. This piece here just goes right on there. Nuts on there. All right, we're gonna remove this guy here as well. Line that guy up. Yeah, so here we are. I'm liking it. Looking sharp. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you can. Comment down below and get subscribed to the channel. Until next time, safe travels.